guys, so this is just a quick um, tutorial on how to um, downgrade your Desire HD based on the um, developers um, forum on XDA and um, the how to downgrade. So I've currently got um, a Desire HD here. What I've done is I've started off first of all by following the instructions. Um, so what I've done is I've downloaded the um, PD98 image um, as instructed and put it on the SD card um, so it's like on the root of the SD card so it's not in a file or a folder or anything like that, it's straight onto the SD card. Um, I've then also downloaded um, the downgrade folder there and then what I've done is I've unzipped that and put it onto um, my C drive so it's easy to find so it's just there so you've got all the files in there. So I prepare myself. The phone is um, it's got USB debugging mode enabled. Um, it's also got <coughs> charge only um, when plugged into the computer. So as you can see, this is currently plugged into the computer, charge only. So what I'm going to do first things first, find the instructions, and then I'm going to run. As you can see here. Connects the desired HD to a computer charge on the USD bugging enabled, which I've done. Now I'm doing it for this one here because currently this is running um, the latest update of Sense um, on the Desire HD. Now it does say that it won't work on 2.37 high um, ROMs, but this is working on 2.36, so I've not actually tried it yet. So this is going to be the first time. I've successfully done it on a um, Desire HD with the previous um, ROM, so hopefully this should work. So the first thing I'm going to do is you can see here you've got to open the command prompt. So I'll do this now. Now I'm using Windows 7. Um, so as you can see it starts off here. So what I've got to do is I've got to get to the um, downgrade folder. So all I'm going to do, it, the reason I put it on the C drive is just because it makes it easier to uh, go back to the C drive. Um, and then if I go to So there you go. So obviously now I'm in the downgrade folder. And this is what you want to be in when you run these commands on the website. So make sure that you're in the downgrade folder, C downgrade, um, and then follow the instructions. So the first thing I'm going to do is AD, I have to excuse me with the uh, typing, it's hard to type and record. ADB um, push MISC version slash data. That's local slash tmp. So that's the first instruction. So as you can see, it will start off with that first to get the actual ADB working. So there we go. So it's got that. So at least we know the um, device is connected. So I'm going to follow the, um, the other instructions now. I type it exactly as it is on the. Um, instructions make sure that you do it as um, accurate as possible if you get an error or anything like that just make sure that you have typed in everything um, exactly as it is including the spaces there you go right so, um, so after typing in all the commands uh, finally I, um, I get this little symbol here which is um, as you can see, just showing that that shows that you've got temporary root. So all I have to do now is type in the final commands: cd slash data slash local slash tmp. As uh, you can see there, so I've copied that into there. And then finally, dot slash misc version s one dot three one dot four or five dot six. That's how this works. All right, so done. So as you can see, once it's done, close the CMD, reboot while it's holding volume down, it'll go to bootloader, follow instructions and start the update. So so restart. Restart, and obviously I'm going to hold the volume down here, 
as it does it now. It does it is a bit annoying vibrating. So obviously remember you've still you've got the image file on your computer here on your SD card. Sorry. So when you're doing this, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically um, install. As you can see there, the um, image you've got on the SD card. So you've got to ensure that obviously if you're doing this that you've taken off all the data that you um, want to keep. So you've done a backup of all your messages and everything because this will wipe your phone. So make sure that you're happy to do this before you do it. So once it's um, loaded the image it asks you if you want to start the update the volume up for yes volume down for no so obviously we do want to start the update so this is now um, done installed the older version of the ROM so I'll just show to show you that it's actually worked there we go No SIM card in here at the moment, so I'm just going to ignore all this bump. Let's leave all that as it is. Alright, so there you go. So, sorry about this. So, there we go. So, now we've got the version of the ROM on it, which is a bit older. Let's just check it. So, remember it was on 2.37 last time. There we go, 1.32. Next thing we're going to do is want to install two applications. The first one is the Visionary Plus. Um, you get this off XDA, put the link in the um, notes. Once you've, once you've um, installed it, you want to temp root it. Once it's temp rooted, you want to attempt perm root now. And what will happen is, once you've done that, the phone will restart. And hopefully once it has restarted, you will then have permanent roots on your form. So once we've um, used Visionary Plus to perm root the form, what we need to do then is use this one-click um, S-Off application um, just to get the S-Off um, on the Desire HD, which will allow you to install the custom ROM. So if you go to the link, I'll put the link in as well on the thing. Follow the instructions. All you have to do is you just have to download um, the file here. Once you've downloaded the file, all you do is unzip it, and as you see, you're just going to plug in the phone, make sure that it's on charge only, and debugging mode is enabled, run the um, .exe file, and just um, run it, and basically what will happen is, once you run it, an S-off um, on your phone will happen, so this will allow it to take play, um, to allow you to install the custom recovery, because um, next thing we're going to do is install the ROM manager. Right, so hopefully now we're rooted. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the ROM manager to install the Clockwork mod recovery. So I'll keep that on charge. Okay. So I'll go to ROM manager. There we go. Flash. Confirm. So it's been grown. There we go. So it says successfully flashed. And I want to test this now by booting into recovery. And there we go. So this is showing that you've got a clockwork mod recovery installed, which is exactly what you want. Now, as I said before, you can install your ROM from the SD card, um, or you can install it from ROM manager. Um, since I've already got it on here, I want to install it straight here. Um, always do a wipe. Um, Okay, so next thing I want to do is go to install from SD card, choose zip, and then if you look there, I've got the update to CM7. So I'm going to click on that. Yes, install. I'm using the volume buttons to navigate and the um, power button to select. Okay, so let's hope this works now. So um, I've installed Cyanogen 7 on here now. Uh, as you can see, it's installed. Um, without any problems let's just go and set up so there we go as you can see I'm on there now so that's all done nice and easy simple to set up so um, if you have any questions there are a couple of issues um, that I've experienced such as making sure that you've got S off on your radio 
Um, what I'll do is I will put links to most things that um, you'll need on um, to carry out this um, routing. Um, but if you have any questions, then just feel free to leave any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. I would suggest that I I, I don't know everything, so I won't be able to answer every question. But at the same time, um, use XDA forums to find um, any answers to questions you may have um, and always you know do a search for it before you ask save yourself some time and effort um, but in the meantime leave any comments like the video and um, I'll speak to you soon nice one